Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. And today our project is this, which is a little money wallet, um, or a gift voucher wallet, or could even be a gift card wallet. If I just slide off the belly band here, you will see that inside I have got one of my um, gift vouchers. Um, and you're able to order these from me if you like um, and if you receive it you will receive it in one of these lovely um, wallets um, it says just a little something for you I've used a tropical chic set there um, or I've also put in here you can see as you know I'm in the, the UK so this is English money I put in two um, ten pound notes they slip in there very nicely so it's a really nice way to gift um, money to people rather than um, than just handing them or slipping in their card um, and I usually make these very simple little wallets and then make a, a nice belly band to go round them so this is using the Noble Peacock foiled paper which I love and it's actually it's it's a misnomer to call it paper because as you can see it's very very thick so it's card really so it's per perfectly thick enough to use just that to make your wallet and this is I will put the link on my in my blog um the li I'm, I've made this wallet several times so I'll show you a link to the um video if you want to make the wallet today I'm going to show you how I made this this um belly band so let me begin by um showing you right we're going to use the tropical chic set so we've got three leaves and the flower that we're going to be using and also I've then got the greeting the greeting I'm using is from a set called delightful day which is this set here just as I love all these greetings I love these little flowers as well I haven't used them yet I like there's a dotty border really useful little set this we got this free as a prize patrol at um, stamping up um, on stage I don't think I would have bought it but actually I'm really like I'm really pleased to have it um, so let me show you what we're going to do so we're going to take these these four five stamps and we're going to take a piece of whisper white card and first of all I'm going to stamp in black the greeting from um, delightful day and I'm going to make sure I leave enough space because I'm going to die cut it with this circle from the stitched framelits stitch shapes framelits so I'm just going to put that up in the corner there which will be fine I can die cut that out and pop my memento I don't need that anymore and then the leaves I'm going to use three different colors I'm going to use call me clover shaded spruce and granny apple green to make um, the leaves so what I'm going to do I'm going to take the big leaf first and I am going to stamp it in granny apple green put my thumb in it where's my wipe I end up with such inky fingers when I'm stamping um, okay so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up my stamp with granny apple green but that's not the end of it so just make sure it's nicely covered I'm then going to take a um, dauber sponge dauber with um, shaded spruce and I am going to daub around the edges of this stamp with some shaded spruce so I should get a shaded effect on my leaf you can actually see I don't know if you can see the different shades of green there so just around the edges keep a, um, a sponge dauber for each color um, makes it a lot easier when you want to do some sponge daubing so I'll just close that up for a minute right and I'm going to stamp my leaf and you should see that I will get a sort of variegated leaf I hope you can see that yeah okay so the next leaf I'm going to do I'm going to stamp in call me clover um no I'm not I'm going to stamp in granny apple green um, and then I'm going to daub round with call me clover so I'm going to ink up granny apple green and this time I'm going to take my call me clover I've got another Spanish dauber which is for call me clover and I'm going to daub around the edges with granny apple green this is a really nice way to get sort of two toned stamps 
um, going so just make your stamps a little bit more versatile so I'll put that one down there there we go it's a bit of a less of a contrast because those colors are quite similar but it's still still two shades and then the last one that we're going to do we're going to stamp in call me clover and we're going to do granny apple green around the edge so I need that one don't close that one so I'm going to stamp the other way around on this one I'm going to stamp in granny up in call me clover and then I'm going to take my granny apple green dauber and I'm going to daub around the edge with granny apple green So this is a really nice way, like I say, and I have to say thank you to Julie Addison, who's one of our Pootless team members, and she made me a swap um, that I've taken inspiration from to make this. There, there's our three leaves. The last thing we need to do is stamp our flower. Again, I'm going to do it two-tone. I'm going to stamp in Blushing Bride to start with. So I'm taking my Blushing Bride, I've still got the old style Blushing Bride, um, and stamp in Blushing Bride. And then I'm going to take a dauber and I'm going to go over it in Rococo Rose, which is one of our new in colours, which is lovely. I love this colour. And it actually coordinates really nicely with Blushing Bride. So I'm going to take my dauber and I'm just going to stamp punch a dab a little bit in the middle there just very gently there we go and then I am going to stamp that oh lovely yeah can you see the pale and then the dark really coordinates really well that um, okay so we've done all our stamping so what I would then do is I would cut all of these out so I would use this die for this one and you all know that when I die cut, I use a tiny little bit of washi tape. Bring my washi tape in here. I just bring, I use a little bit of washi tape and stick my die down. So I would, if I was doing this, I would do all these at once. I'd do one, one pass through the die cutter. So I would stick all these down so that I know that they're not going to move in the right position. and this one the tropical chic set is so lovely i've forgotten how lovely it is and i'm really going to use it more i just it's been great using this it's so easy to make fam fabulous cards and they're so on trend all these tropical leaves and blooms um, there we go and then i need my stitched circle and i'm just going to make sure the message isn't quite central it's just a little bit more in the top than the bottom because some of my leaves and flower is going to go over that right i've got them all set up there and all i would have to do is pass that through my big shop i'm not going to do it i've already die cut some for us to use today i will do that one later and i will make another one of these so that i've got several in reserve because i do sell a few of these gift vouchers which is great um people getting their husbands to buy them a birthday present and then they can go on a little spending spree so if you'd like to do that just nudge your husband or whatever um so there we go right so now what are we going to do we're going to put all this together now so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stick this leaf so if i try and line it up so it doesn't need to be precise but just like it so it's going to go there so I'm going to bring in a little bit of Tombow which I forgot to get out there we go so you don't need to stick the whole thing because it's it's not going to be, be under any pressure or anything so you don't need glue over the whole thing but just a little bit so just stick that like so and then I'm going to take the big leaf and that's going to tuck in behind, behind there. So put a bit of glue on this. Quite a long way down this one goes actually. Cover quite a lot of it up. Otherwise it's too tall and you won't fit it all on your band. So there we go. So maybe there. And then I'm going to trim off the... Um, the stem of this one I don't want that one poking out so I'm just going to stick trim off the stem I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to come in with a dimensional to stick my flower 
I'm going to put that around like that. Oh, sorry, that's my computer buzzing. Um, okay, before I do that, before I stick the flower on, I'm going to come in with my Wink of Stella. I'm just going to use my Wink of Stella a little bit on here. A, it will blend the colours together nicely. And B, it will just give it a little tiny whiff of a sparkle. I need to squeeze it a bit. It's not very... There. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Got it all over my mat now. That's better. It's a bit more sparkly. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's quite subtle. And I need to move that away. And I need to mop that up. Yeah, don't do that over your work. Um, there we go. Right, okay, so I've got my, my flower. Don't know if you can see the sparkle on there on camera. Um, and then I'm going to get bring my um, dimensionals and put a big dimensional behind there. Pop off the backing and place my flower. So cover up the stem of that one. Don't want it too much over the writing. There we go. Right, so that's our, our topper. All we need to do now is make the belly band. So I've got a strip of card which is two and a half centimetres wide and 20 centimetres long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, I'm not going to do this on the scoreboard or anything. I'm going to do it by hand. So I'm going to fold over there and just get a nice crease and then fold that bit over there and if it's not quite straight you can then straighten it out as you do it so just try and get it straight and then I'm just going to take I'm going to take tear and tape to do this because otherwise the glue you can use Tombow but it will take a bit long to dry and of course I'm on camera I don't want to be sitting around waiting for things to dry while I'm on camera so I'm just going to take a little bit of tear and tape there and maybe one more little bit if I can find the end and there we go so like I say if you'd like to buy a, you'd like to buy a um, gift voucher or um, your part you'd like to get your partner to the way it works is you purchase a gift voucher I will send it to you post free in this lovely wallet in one of these lovely wallets um, and then right my my tape is sticking out a bit there and then when you're ready to redeem it you just get in touch with me and say i'd like to order this 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 and this if you order if your order comes to over the gift voucher you can just add it on and pay me for that um and you just have to be aware there is a, a postage cost from stamping up so it will be 4.95 for the, the shipping um whatever you order so you can either spend 45 pounds and then five pounds is the shipping or you can spend 50 pounds and pay me the extra 4.95 the shipping for shipping but it's quite a nice thing and if, the, if you're struggling to think what to tell people you want for your birthday it's quite a nice thing to have um there right now we're just so i've fixed on the belly band put it on and what we need to do is just put it essentially on the belly band so i'm just going to put a dimensional there and a dimensional here and take off the covers and then we're done um there we go i will put the dimensions for the actual wallet on my blog as well just so that in case you don't want to go searching for it there we go so isn't that lovely wouldn't you like to get that with some money in it or even a nice gift voucher in there very unusual present and a lovely handmade wallet to for it to be in just adds that little bit to a gift i think and um, to receive it in something nice like that of course it would come with an envelope as well to be sure okay so i hope you like my project um if you'd like to buy a, a, a voucher don't forget to get in touch um if you've won any bonus bonus um days vouchers last uh, last month don't forget to spend them this month they're only valid until the 31st of august and i think that's it from me today i hope you have a lovely day and i'll be back soon with another project thanks very much bye bye